All right, so we just got finished listening to a video, and it's Farron Cousins. Not, it's not anti him, no, but he calls out Sarah Huckabee Sanders as disgusting when she says that, well, boy, what would God protected? God, Tr saved God saved Trump, but, you know, he obviously killed the other guy. So the family's in mourning, the family's devastated for the rest of their lives. You know, he's going to die a hero because he covered and shielded his family. Get down, cover, shield. But, yeah, you, by, there are lots of things that I say. If you are for something, that means you have to be against the opposite. So you are for, yeah, well, God saved Trump. Okay, but then that means God killed him. So that's what he's saying. And I'm like, look, you got to honestly check yourself in the mirror every single one of us because i literally had to say welcome to america farron because this is the country this is the country that had no problem at the time when COVID was more than rampant is murdering is killing within three weeks and people are saying hey you know, once we kill 1.2 million U.S. inhabitants, then we'll have immunity or, or, or whatever they were saying. So it's worth the death of 1% of this country just so there can be herd immunity or something. Yeah, and there's a friend of ours that was here saying, well, you know, they died, but we got, you know, we got the herd immunity thing. So, you know, it was OK. And I'm like, that's one point two million people dead from something that didn't have to be here. Something that was trying to actually die out. So you multiply that by six. And that's the amount of people in closest relation at a minimum that is still grieving today at the loss of those people. Even if part of those grieving are the ones that say, well, you know, we want to herd immunity. We have made it so that it is OK to sacrifice anyone, not us, so that we can have what we want. And If it's hard for you to, <sighs> okay, hold up. That's my bad, everybody, because Cedra's unplugged. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was saying stuff, and that's why I was quiet. But she, her mic wasn't in. Um, but it's it's in now. But yeah, it's just her immunity is exactly what this country is about. We don't care about the lives of others. We just want what we want and we don't want to change anything about ourselves but we want everything to change around us and that's just not how but it has to accommodate us it's not nothing works that way it's and when i say it don't work that way it it, it can't function decently that way you can't sacrifice everyone for your own whims and think that it's all going to turn out okay it's just not because when you think about anything like this or herd immunity, put yourself as one that's going to die. You are going to die so that everyone else can go on about their thoughtless lives. They don't care about you, your name, your hardships through life, your victories, your losses, your family, nothing. Just imagine you next to them, these people. Someone shoots you in the head, they shrug their shoulders and say, it won't me, and keep going. Because predominantly, that's who most of the people are on this planet, let alone this country. I hope that you listened.